Over the next few videos, I'm going to show you a few tools and techniques to debug your React Native applications. We have a few different tools here. You can choose the tool or the tools that you prefer, and it really depends on what you want to do. So the simplest way to debug our React Native applications is using the good old console.log statements. So here in App Component, we can do a console.log and say app executed. Now save the changes, bring up the embedded terminal. We have two entries for app executed because I have two virtual devices connected to Metro Bundler. I have an iOS simulator and an Android virtual device. And here in Metro Bundler, on the top left, you can see the connected devices. So I've connected an iPhone 11 Pro Max and an Android virtual device. Now we can click on any of these devices and see the log for that device. So console.log is the simplest way to debug our React Native apps. However, these console.log statements can have a negative impact on the performance of our apps in production. So use this only during development and testing. Once you're done with your debugging sessions, make sure to remove them before building your application for production. Next, I'm going to show you how to debug your apps in Chrome. 